All right, guys, today I'm going to show you a bit of software called VideoProc. Now, it's a video processing, editing-ish. The editing functions are fairly limited, but a processing, conversion, screen recording, DVD burner. Is that still a thing? If you're still burning DVDs, then this one's for you. But anyway, VideoProc. This video is actually sponsored by VideoProc, but I'm gonna give you a nice, honest overview of the software. And as a present for you guys watching this video, VideoProc have given me a link to a free version that you guys can all use for free. You can watch this video, go and try it out for yourself using the link in the description below. Nothing to lose, everything to gain, free bit of software. Now the good thing about this software is it works with large files like 4K, 8K files. Using GPU hardware acceleration, it can work with bigger files, nice and easy. Depending on which Mac and PC you've got, obviously if you've got a rubbish one from 1986, it's still gonna be slow, isn't it? I've been having a play with the software and it definitely fills a gap where you're often thinking, oh, I wish I had something that did that. Well, I think this does a lot of those things. So let's have a look and I'll show you what I mean. So first thing first, use the link in the description. It will take you to this screen. On this screen, you can see here, you've got your free version courtesy of VideoProc and me. And you've got your lifetime version here for $29.95. Now, as you can see, there's money off that at the moment and $29.95 for this software for life with no restrictions or anything. That's nothing, is it? So if you like what the software does and you want to upgrade from the free version, then $29.95, I suggest you do that. At the moment, we're going to download the free version. So you obviously choose free download if you're PC or I'm a Mac user. Now I've already downloaded the software. So you'll receive a zip file. And in that zip file, you'll get a readme on how to activate the software. Okay, so that'll just tell you how to activate it. And you'll get the actual software launcher. Okay, so launch your software. Now I've already added my license key because I wanted to test the software out but obviously you'll just have to go in there follow the instructions add your license key in your email bosh free access to all this software okay so you can do some video processing this is where the editor is as well but like i said it's more of a video processing than editor i would say the editing functions are fairly limited but you can process video in here and you can process for an 8k video pretty seamlessly actually so that's all good. DVD, you can burn stuff to DVD. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like this. The smell, the smell of the cases. Oh, you, you can't smell the DVD cases on Netflix. Bit of a 90s noughties thing that, but if you're still using DVDs, then you can use this as a bit of a burner. This is a good one, downloaders. You can download videos and music from the internet, YouTube, Facebook, and other sites. You can download the video and the music or just the music or just the video blah 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 I'll show you how to use that later on and it's also got a screen recorder which is cool so recording screens much like I'm doing for this video I'm not actually using this screen recorder on this one it's a different software but if you're making YouTube videos tutorials all that sort of thing having a screen recorder is a must I think so you get one of those included in here okay so let's just click on the video one for now so this is the screen that you'll be confronted with let's just import a video so i've got some drone footage here so let's just import that see how quickly it did that really quick this is a 4k video and it's imported that bang straight away so you can see how quickly it processes videos using its inbuilt gpu acceleration i don't really know how that stuff works but it's Sounds good. So let's just have a look at what we can do with our video. So if we click on effect, it'll open up all the different effects that you can do to the video. Now, if your video's got audio on it and you don't want the audio anymore, then you can whack the audio volume down. If your audio is not as loud as you want it to be, you can whack it up. So you can adjust the audio here. You can also rotate the video. So you can rotate it into a vertical form or you can flip it over all the way around. You can vertical flip. You can horizontal flip. So we'll leave the horizontal flip on so you can see the differences between the original video and the preview video. So if we click on format, as this just gives you all the information contained within your video, okay? 
Now you can add a few effects. So if you look at the preview, we can see what we're doing. So if we hit grayscale, you can see on the preview, it's giving it that black and white effect. Negate does that. I want to add some vintageness. That thing, this thing. I saw a vignette somewhere. You can add a little vignette. Okay, so let's just add a vignette for now. You can also adjust the brightness if it's under or overexposed. You can do that all here. Uh, add a bit of contrast or take some off. Same with the hue, gamma, saturation. Okay, so you can do all that here. You can add subtitles if you want to. Right, so you can cut the video. So let's just say I want to go from this section here and I just want to finish it at that section there, okay? So this is your playhead so that you can see where it's going to end. To there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And I'm going to click cut. And then done. Okay, and now you can see that the clip is 12 seconds long where it was a minute. Now if we go to crop, and then this is quite neat. I'm going to go to enable crop. I can literally just drag the corner here to crop in to any part of that video I want. Okay, so say I want that bit. Okay, so you can crop right in on the video just by dragging the corners. You can also add a watermark. So let's go to enable watermark. You can add some text if you want to. So let's just write Neil. Okay, and you can change the font on that just by clicking on the font and then just by choosing whichever font you want here. Now I'm not going to use text. I'm going to go to image instead and I'm going to add an image. So I'm going to add my watermark, which is this little record button. Okay, and then you can put that wherever you want it on the video. And then when you've done everything you want to do, just click done. Now, if you've got a specific place that you're sending your video, then you can go to target format and you get all these options, which is pretty cool. So if you know it's a free YouTube video, you click YouTube and it will give you the best options for YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, which is an Apple device. If you're sending it to an iPhone, then you can choose whichever iPhone you're sending it to and it will give you the best options for that. Okay. If you want an MP4 for YouTube or an FLV, you can choose which one you want. Done. So wherever you want to send this video, choose where you want to send it. General video, so you can choose which type of MP4. So you can choose the H.264 or the MPEG. Sony device, a PlayStation, you can send it to your PlayStation. All sorts on there. So wherever you're going to send your video or you want to play your video, you will have an option for it here. It's all been optimized for all these different devices. So that's really cool. Optimize your video for the specific medium that you want to send it to. And you can also use these tabs along the bottom. So if we go to device here, then it will give you all the different exports for all the different devices. Okay, so you can choose it by device, by video, by music. You can also click on toolbox. So you've got some GoPro footage, you can stabilize it and de-shake it denoise it this is good you can convert a video to a moving picture gif so you can convert it to a gif that's pretty cool because that's not an easy thing to do a lot of the time so so yeah let's just click on gif click run it'll automatically save it to its own video proc directory that's it's automatically set up for you in your c drive or your home drive now if you click on it so yeah it's turned it into a little gif so that's pretty cool. Now you need to adjust a few things to make the GIF look decent, but I think there's a way of taking the fisheye effect off as well in GoPro. Yeah, so all these different things. Let's go back to target format now then. Let's just choose YouTube video, MP4, done. Okay, if I wanted to now export this video, I would just click use high quality engine. That'll make it run as fast as you can. Hit run, Bosch. That's gonna export that newly cropped video with the watermark into that directory where that GIF now lives. Okay, so that's done. We just open that now. Now we've got our newly cropped video with the watermark, all playing in nice crisp 4K resolution. Okay, so from what I can see there, 
we've lost nothing in the actual quality of the video in the export. Now, like I say, you can edit videos together, so you can add other videos, but you can't add transitions and you can't add music to the whole thing, but you can stack videos one after the other, so they'll play one after the other. You'd have to add individual effects to each one, but you could edit loads of different videos together using this software. Okay, so let's go back to here. And then obviously you could go into the DVD and have all the DVD options. And you can also add images to your DVD. You can make your DVDs here. Like I say, old school that, 90s, noughties thing. I guess people still watch DVDs. Watching DVDs is better than going to the cinema. I'm a wedding videographer and people still ask me for wedding DVDs. I find it all a bit odd, but USB's all the way for me. Um, downloader, this is a good one. So this is where you can download videos, music, off of websites. So if we click add video, all you do, pop your URL, pop your URL in there and download the video, same with music. If you just wanted to download the music, you just click add music, put in the web address, download the music. We've all been in a position where we want to download video off of YouTube, etc. You can use this to do that. And the final thing, which I think is worth paying the $29.95 lifetime thing alone for, is a screen recorder. Decent screen recorders always cost a little bit of money, otherwise they've got watermarks, etc. Now this free version does have a watermark, but like I say, if you get the lifetime version for $29.95, whatever, you've got a nice screen recorder, you've got your video downloader, your DVD burner thing, and your video processor, $29.95, no brainer. Anyway, if you click on screen recorder, you've got your options for screen, webcam, screen and webcam. So you can record your webcam, you can record your screen, you can record both. Let's just go to screen. And it, look, here's my screen. Now say I just wanted to record the middle part of my screen, which I would because I only want the video proc software, okay? I'd go to crop and I would just choose how much of the screen I wanted to crop. Now there's some other options you can change here. Color spill reduction, opacity. I don't think you'd really want to touch any of that. You just want to click record and record the screen. You can play around with the audio so you know you're getting the right audio. At the moment there's no device selected but if there was you could choose the audio device like if you had a microphone plugged in. So you could do a voice over on the screen recording. You know, and then you just click record, bang. Da -da 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 -da. And then you just click stop when you're finished recording. And there is our recorded screen, okay? I can't see that there is a watermark on there actually. So maybe I'm, I'm wrong on that front. Let me know in the comments below. Try it out, let me know. You might not even have to pay the $29.95, but if there is a watermark on there, pay the $29.95. Screen recorder, always handy to have. Okay, so there we have it. That's video proc. Now what I suggest you do now is go to the link in the description below and download this. The free version using the link in the description below is only for a very limited time. And the people at Video Proc have been very kind in providing this link for us to use for free. Download the software, then you have that and the registration key. You don't have to worry about the link disappearing. Play around with it, see what you think. Definitely try out the screen recorder, DVD burner if you're still living in the 90s, noughties. Yeah, and try out the video processor. If you've got video that you need to flip vertically and all that sort of thing, add a few effects too. Just play around with it, see how it works for you. Change the codecs of your videos and all that sort of thing. If you've got a video in MP4 and you need to change it to MPEG or whatever, you can easily do that on this. So for free, that is a nice bit of software. Even for 29 95 that is a nice bit of software. If you have enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below because that all helps you shoot me up the old YouTube algorithm, which means I can make more videos, which hopefully you enjoy. I enjoy making them anyway. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already so I can show you stuff like this to help you with your filmmaking workflow. That's it for this one. Download it. Catch you in the next one.